Hello everyone, my name is Squid Ed Joe, and in today's video, if you are looking for something to upgrade your setup, maybe you're a content creator, somebody who likes to play video games, maybe you want something for your office or your home setup or anything along those lines, maybe it's for yourself or somebody else, I got you. Today's video is going to try to keep all items under $100 and two things before we get into the actual, I would say, items themselves. One is that if you're interested in any of the items, there will be a link in the description to a kit.com, which will have everything listed that's in this video on that page. And if you buy anything off of it, some of those links are Amazon affiliate links. They help out the channel at no cost to you. And a lot of these are probably going to have coupons and stuff like that, because usually these items or wherever are items that I have personally covered. And some of them I have even purchased with my own money. And I like to save money just like everybody else. So some of these items are constantly on sale and that's what kind of catches my eye to review these products anyways. The second thing is, is that Fine Fine is a sponsor of the channel. They recently partnered with me, I would say in like September timeframe or wherever, right before I did the BM88 review on their low profile boom arm when they sent that out for this video in particular, alongside of the AM8 from them, which is a USB microphone and an XLR microphone. So it has dual inputs that you can use um, and they sent out out in white for this video specifically. But again, I have covered the AM8 way before we even got sponsored or anything like that with Fine Fine. I still have my honest opinions and reviews of their products and stuff like that. There's been a lot of stuff that's going to be in this video that I have bought personally from them and they have no idea I even have. And one of the items I haven't even done a review on, I just really like the item and enjoy it. So we're going to do a fine, fine section, and then we're going to move on to other options out there. And lastly, I just want to go ahead and say that I'm going to put the price of these items on screen because to my recollect, the prices may have changed based off of what I know in my head. So always watch the Amazon links and everything, but I'm pretty sure most of these items are still going to be considered under $100. So first up, we're going to, again, we're going to talk about fine, fine products. First up, pro fine, fine product that we're going to talk about, again, is the BM88 and the AM8 in white. Both look aesthetically pleasing. They're both white and they're both coming in at a very low price for what you get uh, in the package. If you don't have a audio interface like that, something that can drive an XLR microphone, you can still use the USB type microphone input on the back of the microphone. You get everything that you need inside the box when it comes to the AM8, but an XLR cable, which you can find a cheap, somewhat cheap XLR cable. And I will leave an all white one to match this aesthetic or whatever that personally that I use. It's a one that's a little bit long. Um, so you might be able to find a shorter one that's all white. But this one was the only one that I could find that literally had no black on it at all visibly um, to hook up to the microphone or whatever for that clean white aesthetic. And uh, I'll keep that again in that kit link down in the description. If you are interested maybe in the individual reviews of the Fine Fine products, you can find those that I have done in the past in the link in the description. The next up, we're again, we're going to be talking about the BM88. It's a low profile boom arm. It looks aesthetically pleasing, very slim and sleek and modern design. And on top of that, it comes in black or white. So you can you can have the different types of aesthetics right there. And again, the low profile boom arms just kind of keep everything out of the way, it makes your streams and your videos look more professional because you don't have this big old, I would say, microphone boom arm in the shot of your video or wherever and just keeping it away again out of out of sight, out of mind kind of thing, and still gives you access to be able to reach your keyboard, your mouse, whatever you need to do. And on top of that, since your mic is not sitting on the desk, it's not gonna pick up your keyboards or any desk rumblings or anything at all. The base is gonna be able to clamp pretty much to any thickness of the desk. It's not gonna fall apart on you. The build quality is really, really good here. And on top of that, the cable management is just way better than even the Elgato low profile boom arm at half the cost, if not even lower. So I definitely would highly recommend if you're looking for a microphone boom arm to check them out. If you're not interested in a low profile mic boom arm, they do have other options. And again, they do come in white and black, even in those other options other than the low profile boom arm. So definitely check out the link in the description to the Find Find page on Amazon. And again, if you buy anything off of the Amazon link, it's an affiliate link, it helps me out. 
moving on to something else that from fine find that i have covered in the past but they have not sent out to me i personally bought it for myself um is what i'm actually using right now which is the fine fine sc3 i am using filters on this microphone so it's not the bass sound of the microphone but again it's enough to drive a shotgun microphone that's supposed to be hooked up to a camera it has phantom power and a whole bunch of different other options on the audio interface itself again coming in around 50 dollars for this um, and again i'll put the adjusted price on screen if there's any differences or whatever from what i'm saying but when i purchased it at the time it was around 50 dollars um, it comes with faders and physical buttons and stuff for voice changers all that stuff that you can use um, to liven up your gameplay or your discord calls or maybe your live streams or whatever um, it does have some limitations that i go over in the individual review of the I would say to find find sc3 so definitely go out and check that linked in the description moving on to something i haven't covered as far as in any videos at all is the fine fine a16 i believe i'm saying that right it's a portable nice sleek long i would say sound bar or mobile speaker wherever it has bluetooth and aux port you can put sd cards into it and everything charges from usb type c a long lasting battery life looks aesthetically pleasing comes with an rgb on it and on top of that comes in white and black I, again i went for the white aesthetic i just have it you know sitting in the background listening to lo-fi if i'm around the house or i go outside to do a dancing portion of any kind of video or something like that i have that because you know it's easy portable will i say it fit in a backpack or any more portable uh, i would say um options are out there than using this because of how long it is so it's kind of weird that it can just run off a battery instead of just having it hooked up to somewhere i'm not entirely sure um how you would make this portable because again it's going to fit in a backpack uh awkwardly it's not as small and compact as some other again mobile speakers out there but it is a nice option and I think it will look nice on anybody's uh, desk setup. Moving on to some other products that are out there that I would recommend. Uh, if you have the money for it, I would suggest just getting you a nice surge protector, but not the typical one that people would talk about. These are kind of unique and I've seen them popping up a little bit more. They clamp on the backside or the front side of your desk. So if you need a USB-C port or a USB port or something like that, just to power something in general and not necessarily hook up to your setup really, or you have uh, access to a uh, power outlet that you need, I, I guess, more friendly uh, access to or something like that to hook up a light or something along those lines. You can clamp this on the, the top of your desk or even there's ones or whatever that can go to your front of your desk, but underneath the desk and it clamps and you can just plug whatever you need right in. So it, I find it very helpful when I'm doing product reviews and stuff like that, but I need power. I don't have to go, you know, to a wall outlet or a surge protector on the ground. Or even if I stick one underneath my desk, go underneath my desk and unplug it and everything is sitting right there. Easy access, plug it in, pl unplug it usb ports on it there's different types out there or wherever but just getting something simple along these lines or wherever can definitely go a long way especially if you don't feel like climbing like i said underneath your desk all the time to get access to certain things is something from godox it's a godox light i'm gonna i forget the serial name or whatever but i'm putting on screen i have the bigger versions of it sometimes you can find them at around 90 to 99 dollars on bnh the bigger ones the es uh 45s is the one I currently use and you can kind of see it behind in this shot right here um, but there's smaller ones or whatever that are around like $89 80 bucks or something like that that you can find out there as well just make sure that you're looking at those price like I said fluctuations or whatever sometimes they do go up in price um, but they're definitely handy I would recommend these over Elgato key lights or really any other key lights that are similar to these lights just because they have physical controls that can pop off the back of the light and you can control and dial in your settings and stuff like that group the different lights together so let's say you get two or three of these lights they can all be controlled by one module and it just comes really in handy next up is actually a product that i don't personally have but i've seen go under a hundred dollars and it's a thing from newer that actually clamps onto your desk as well and this thing um, allows you to have you know a camera a microphone and like two lights or whatever on the side so if you're really getting into top down videos 
um, talking head videos or something like that for your content creation, maybe TikToks, unboxing for products, everything like that. This is very handy. I forget the actual serial name, so I'll put it on screen, but they literally just dropped it like a week or two as, uh, ago, I say as a time of recording. Um, so I haven't got my hands on it. Hopefully I could probably get that in the future. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, there's one that's a little bit more expensive, but I'll have to check myself because I'm not sure if this is going to be under $100. I can't remember the price I paid for it, but I've been using it for a little bit. Um, there's two versions of this one that allows you to hook up two monitors, one that allows you to hook up a laptop and a monitor. I am using that version. Um, and it allows you to put a microphone or whatever boomed overhead that I'm currently using. You can put a camera on top or wherever, and you have access to one light. Um, this one, I kind of wish I would have waited for the newer version. Um, that monitor slash laptop stand thing or whatever does come in handy. Um, but the overall usefulness of it and like the multiple arms and like how long the arms extend away and stuff like that i would lean more towards using the newer one if you have a decent film monitor or something along those lines the reason why i have an actual 24 inch monitor that i use personally for this setup is because i hook up the setup to my pc and seeing everything big wide on screen or whatever so when i'm talking to chat from this angle i can literally see the chat on my screen and stuff instead of having a small field monitor trying to do that i know there's a new thing from elgato that's the elgato teleprompter that just came out but i think it's almost like 300 bucks i, I don't care if they want to say it's it's worth it it's not worth like what it does just because it does something slightly unique it's not worth paying $300. That thing should be less than 200 in my personal opinion. So I can achieve the same thing or wherever with a monitor that's literally under $100 with a setup or wherever like this and be perfectly fine. So again, I'm not sure if the stand is under $100. I'll let you guys know on screen if it's not. If it's something that you're interested in and maybe you could use at like a little, uh, I would say makeshift desk, maybe you have a cheap desk and you want to clamp stuff and have lights and everything just all in one it's simply all in one uh, i would say desk stand that's what you're looking for and again this newer one again if i remember correctly it's around 90 dollars uh on amazon again brand new so we pretty much covered a lot of stuff but what we haven't really covered is rgb um rgb panel that's behind me i don't know if the video is up now or not or whatever but i just clearly the same night diy this um this is from Tonar. This is going to be around between 40 and 60 bucks, depending on if you're getting the, the six pack version, the 12 pack. I would suggest getting the 12 pack. Um, and so you have more hexagons to play with or whatever. I might get another 12 pack and then add nine to this design already. Inside is a Govi light strip. Um, and I would say use a different light strip than the one that comes with the Tonar package just because if you haven't seen that video and I don't again I don't know if it's up or not yet but I suggest watching that video whenever it drops so you get the full in-depth guide on why I say to do that but the Govi light strip you can find at Walmart or Best Buy that one in particular is are between 40 and 50 bucks um, there is one that has two spools or wherever and that's what I use around this office or wherever and I forget uh the actual price of them wherever because they're roughly like ten dollars uh more or less or wherever a difference between the two so it's up to you what you need but you just need the single one to go through this or wherever and again i have the 12 pack and there's still even some more that you could use inside of it um it just allows you to get more diy selections than the one that comes with it and you, there's some other issues with the actual light strip that comes with the tonar package but again get yourself a own your own cheap led strip rgb strip whatever and put it in there and obviously it looks pretty good there are acoustic panels um i'm not sure the sound quality or the sound testing or wherever of them i'm not i'm not sure if they're the best i'm not sure if they actually really do anything for sound or eliminating any room echo or anything i can't tell you that i notice anything different because i have a blank wall right here and a blank wall over there that's like literally behind both my setups for youtube and streaming so I kind of tell you but it looks nice i think i think it looks nice so you know it's definitely worth the money i would say also more rgb is these lamps that you see right here these are just regular cheap lamps that you can find at walmart again for like 20 25 bucks something like that um but they have govi le uh i would say rgb ic light bulbs inside and again 
Gobi is just a really good company that has a lot of cheap options that nobody really seems to talk about. Um, but again, you can get a four pack of these bulbs or whatever for like 30, 40 bucks maybe. And you get access to a whole bunch of customizations wherever within their app that you can DIY yourself, let alone the presets that come from the actual manufacturer of Gobi or wherever that, that it's just customization out just crazy um so again check out those light bulbs or wherever do something cheap like i said these little lamps or wherever put some light bulbs in it add some uh, aesthetically pleasing stuff to your to your i guess your room or to your content creation let's go ahead and move over to i would say keyboards um uh, there's several keyboards that i have covered throughout i would say my time on youtube um my favorite keyboard still hands down is the wooting uh 60 he i have to say that it is way over a hundred dollars but it's still hands down i don't care what anybody says about build quality all that stuff i've seen keyboard snobs complain and say that you know it shouldn't be that price because the components of it it doesn't matter it still beats any keyboard out there for gaming period um so i still would recommend that but again it's like two hundred dollars Whereas the keyboards I'm going to recommend is the ones I have previously reviewed. Um, there is a 60%, a 75%, and a, I would say a TKL. Uh, the TKL I only did an unboxing short for. I never recovered. But I would say if you're going to go with the TKL, just know that the ba battery drains a lot more and a lot faster on the TKL than the other two keyboards. And I think it's mostly because that LED screen or just might be my unit. I'm not entirely sure. So your results may vary but it's just a coral c themed keyboards from um xvx that i found on amazon right now between the 60 percent and i would say the 75 percent or wherever the one with the arrow keys this one the second one that i uh reviewed it's still my favorite all right lastly is going to be mouse or mice um i just like the g502 from logitech that's the one i keep using or wherever i have one of their older versions Obviously, that's around. That's been around forever. You can find that around 50, 60 bucks or wherever. The newer one, I have seen refurbished models um, on Amazon for about $90 to $99, depending on if you want the RGB or not. Um, so it's up to you if you want to do that. They might be a little bit over $100. I'm not entirely sure because something like that, prices go up and down and availability and all that stuff as far as refurbished or renewed. Uh, items and stuff so that's what I would recommend I haven't personally got my hands on it I don't really review mice because I'm just happy and content with the type of mouse that the G502 is it does what I need it to do for as far as productivity and gaming all in one mouse I, I don't need anything else I don't need no, no super lights and all that stuff or wherever I, I, I don't need that and it's just I need the buttons that's all my mouse wherever for for doing all the type of stuff that I do. Outside of that, I guess the only webcam that I could recommend or wherever is probably going to be surprising because I don't really like recommending this company, but it's going to be the Elgato face cam, the 1080p 60 frames per second. If you can find that under $100, I've seen it refurbished or wherever before. The base price, I think, is still $120 or something like that, something ridiculous. Um, but again if you can find it refurbished or wherever that will cover i can't recommend any other webcams that are under a hundred dollars i just don't think there's one worth it out there i would literally save up to get a little bit more uh for that wherever for that price point and lastly i would say a stream deck if you can find one i know there's uh, uh, other companies that are starting to make their own versions of the stream deck that literally is the stream deck it just doesn't say stream deck and it uses the same software it just doesn't say elgato or stream deck and i've seen them under a hundred dollars um and so if they are at the time of recording i will go ahead and list them or wherever in the kit link down below as well um other than that i think that pretty much covers everything that somebody possibly would need in their setup and i think this is going to wrap it up for today's video just you know a whole bunch of stuff under a hundred dollars that i can think of it's probably going to be somewhat long hopefully i can cut it down or whatever it might be 20 to 30 minutes who knows but yeah hopefully that you guys find this information uh, helpful i'm gonna have to shoot a lot of b-roll to cover everything i was talking about so leaving a like on the video definitely helps subscribing if you're new also definitely helps and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces. If you want to chat to me or worry about any of this stuff that I talked about today, you can always check my live stream out. You see the link up there. Check it.
down in the description over at kit.com forward slash squidhead joe i'll catch you guys later deuces everybody much love